Hi friends, today I am going to discuss with you another significant topic of law. It is related with the Negotiable Instrument Act and this is nothing but the plan and decision taken by the government and they are going to make the new changes in the uh, procedure and the law related to 138 of the Negotiable, Negotiable Instrument Act. The object behind this is to only minimize the cases under Negotiable Instrument Act as the recently news was out and I read the news that is from the its authentic source. The news was that the finance department of the center has taken a decision, they have conducted a meeting and they have very good plan to minimize the cases under uh, cases going on under check bounce cases that is 138 of the negotiable instrument act they are going to make a new three rules by the due process the new three rule will be implemented in future what are those perhaps after one year or two year you will come to know about these rules the rule number one is that suppose x person has issued a check from his account and he has account with state bank of india and he has given the said check to a person with whom there was a business transaction he issued the check to y and later on he defaulted in making the payment and due to any of the reason like whether he closed the account whether there is enough there is insufficient of amount whether uh, he uh, put the request to the bank to not to pay the same or whatever reasons he, the check has gone bounced. However, the said accused, said person who issued the check has another account in another bank like Axis Bank, for example. In such a case, the Axis Bank, another bank, does not have authority to hold the amount to the extent of the said check. Suppose that fellow has issued the check of FILAC from the account of SBI and that got bounced due to insufficient amount in his account or whatever reasons he closed the account but the excess bank does not have authority to hold the amount of file lag therefore now the new rule is going to come that the payment will be made to that person to whom the check was issued from the other account that is excess account of excess bank though it has been bounced the, though the earlier check was issued from the or it pertains to the bank of SBI but the said amount would be secured from the other account and the other other bank the other bank will be having a right to hold that amount and the said amount will be given to the person to whom the accused has issued the check the purpose behind this is to secure the business transactions and to gain the faith in issuing the checks in the world of business otherwise nobody will trust nobody will have a faith in the business transactions people cheaters are issuing the checks and they are uh, bouncing the same therefore even if the accused has issued the check from x account his amount available in the y account in another account another with another bank or with the same account another account with the same bank that will be hold and that will be given to the person to whom the check has been issued and another rule that such a person is not allowed to open the another account for example if there is only one account and he has issued the check in that case definitely this first rule cannot be implemented because he doesn't have the another account or any account with another bank in such a cases the complainant is helpless the person in whose favor the check is issued is helpless but however such an accused is not entitled or allowed to open new account with the same bank or new account with any other bank he is stopped because looking at his conduct he bounced the check that will be reflected in the record then he will not be allowed to open the new account with the same bank or new account in another bank this is another rule which the government may implement or is likely to implement and third one any such a person who bounces the check 
he shall not be entitled to get any of the loan from any financial institutions or from any banks so these are the rules to be implemented once it is framed by the competent authority we have to wait and now just the news has come perhaps it may be implemented after one year or two year how much time it will take uh, we can't say but the news has come out from the authentic source and i have gone through the news and i came to came across the news i thought to share the same with you the idea behind this is very nice i like this idea because the cases under negotiable instrument act will be reduced and cheaters will not be allowed to cheat further cheat in future there will be some restrictions against such cheaters by these rules and we have already heard that the parliament is going to make this offense under section 138 of the negotiable instrument act as non bailable because right now the offense under section 138 is bailable on the first date the accused by making an making an application can get the bail because it is bailable in bailable it is his matter of right however parliament is thinking or considering to make it non bailable if the offense is made as a non bailable then it the it is at the discretion of the judge whether to grant bail or not still this has not been implemented so we in future or one or two or three year we may see this four changes in the check bounce cases and this is very correct move right move and i i positively says that this is very correct move thanks for hearing to me